Ah, oh, she's really bad. She's really f***ing bad. I just stopped him and killed him. I just made this so one. Please, kill me now. F***. I just made this so one. Ah, oh, she's really bad. She's really f***ing bad. I just stopped him and killed him. I just made this so one. Please, kill me now. What you just heard there was Rebecca Press's chilling voicemail to her ex-boyfriend after murdering Mark Ash. Please watch the rest of the video to find out what happened in this truly shocking case. Rebecca Press, age 31, stabbed 57-year-old Mark Ash in her mother's home in July last year. Cardiff Crown Court had actually been drinking heavily and using drugs on the day of the killing. On the day of the murder, Rebecca Press, from Wales, had arrived to spend the weekend at her mother's flat after splitting up with her boyfriend. Mr. Ash was her mother's neighbour and best friend. It is now known that Rebecca Press and Mr. Ash had been out drinking together earlier that day at the pub and local rugby club, but Mr. Ash had returned home after telling Michelle Press, her mother, over the phone that Rebecca Press was playing up and adding that I can't cope with her. He came back to the flat and watched the film with Rebecca Press's mother. In this chilling CCTV footage, you can see Rebecca and Mark together just hours before Rebecca yeah, murdered Mark. Huh? Oh, yeah. Once Rebecca Press returned to the flat, she was shouting and was upset that her brother, Gavin Press, a friend of her ex-boyfriend, was at the flat. The brother told the court that his sister was drunk, angry and upset about the breakup and said stuff in anger. Rebecca Press's mother said that she asked her daughter to calm down but that she only got more agitated and accused her mother of spitting in her face. Her mother said, she gripped my arm, I saw teeth, I thought she was going to bite me. As Rebecca's mother went into her own bedroom to call the police, Mr. Ash tried to calm Rebecca down. Rebecca's brother said that his sister took a small knife from the kitchen drawer and was threatened to stab her own brother with it. He then went on to say that Mr. Ash walked into the blade while trying to intervene and control the situation. Courts heard that a 7.5 centimeter blade was plunged into Mr. Ash's chest and that the rapid blood loss led to cardiac arrest. It was then after this that Rebecca went on to call her ex-boyfriend and leave the chilling voicemail that you heard at the start of the video. Rebecca Press initially denied murder but changed her plea during her trial and she must serve a minimum term of 20 years in prison. Thank you for watching the video. Please be sure to comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of the new content coming up. Thank you.